Hey, my name's Jeremy. I'm on United Martial Arts. This is Uncle Freight, aka Sean. Uh, we we'll do a basic Americana from Mount. It's also called like a figure four. Um, I'm not. Uh, he's stronger than me. I'm not going to use my strength to try to pin his arm. I'm going to double uh, two on one control on his wrist. My arms are straight. I use my weight to try to push his arm down because my weight's stronger than his one arm. But I didn't use my strength. Okay, so that's step one. Notice his arm is pinned um, like he's waving. It's bent at a 90 degree angle. Uh, this is something different. So we're, we're doing this one today. He's waving. Okay, so again, my arms are locked. I use my weight to pin his arm. That's step one. Step two, my elbow comes on the mat next to his ear. Now I'm going to also grapevine his legs so it's hard for him to roll me over when I try to, to get his arm. This hand goes under his elbow, I grab my own wrist, that's the figure four lock, and I'm going to pipe my wrist up like this, it makes it tighter. I don't want my wrist sunk in, you see what I mean? You want this. Sometimes I can get some people to tap just from doing that alone if they're, if they're not very flexible. Okay, now lift his elbow a little bit. I'm going to dip his hand in paint, I'm going to paint a stripe on the mat. Alright, I want to show you something about this. Okay. Up here, he's flexible. You're wasting your time pulling his elbow up when his, when his hand is up over his head. So what you got to do is lift the elbow a little bit, dip his hand in paint, and you start dragging it towards his belt. And then that's when you get pain in the shoulder. I see, you see people do it wrong all the time. Like they'll, they'll have the arm up and they're cranking on up here. He, this isn't going to work and he might be really over. So you bring it down here. So, I've got mount, two hands on one control, my arms are locked. I'm not going to use my strength, my weight does it. He let me do it, good, because it's pretty easy to defend. And I take my elbow, put it on the mat next to his ear. I do that because I don't want him to push my elbow and, and screw my, my move up. So, I don't want to get any space in there. One, two. Grapevine his legs. to give you some anchors to stay on. This hand goes under his elbow, fig, figure four lock my wrist, wrist up, not bent like this. He, he could push back, maybe hurt me even, he could hurt my wrist. This is tighter. I'm not using my thumbs, notice, because it allows me to pipe my wrist. If you use your thumbs, it, you're limited. Dip his hand in paint, lift the elbow slightly, paint a stripe on the mat. And always do it real slow so you don't hurt them. So that you can get someone surgery with this move. You gotta be, you know, always be careful. If you're grappling with your partners in here and you get some guy that's stubborn, just let it go and do something else. Don't don't hurt his shoulder.